Green Party leader Elizabeth May is confident she'll no longer be the lone Green in the House of Commons after this year's federal election. With record-breaking fundraising numbers and her party's rise at the provincial level, the grass is looking green on May's side of the fence. <laughs> you like that? She joins us now. Oh, oh, thank yeah. you so much for being here. So right now, nine provincial Greens yeah. uh, are, are representing your party across the country. That number could rise after this month's PEI election, um, where there, you could see the first P, uh, green uh, government. Um, but however, when people think Greens, they, they struggle to think of anything beyond the environment. So yeah. what's the plan to, to introduce us to the Green Party on a broader level? Well, one of the things that's so crazy about this spring, I'm very excited because with Prince Edward Island, where Peter Bevan Baker, as you say, yeah. may form government, on the other side of the country, another island story. I may not be alone in Parliament after May 6, because there's a by-election. Paul Manley, the Green candidate there, could be joining me in Ottawa soon, please. <laughs> well, what, what we do is we just keep doing what we're doing, is we've never been a one-issue party. No. The name suggests that to people. But the reality is we were the first party to call for pharmacare. We were the first party to call for equal marriage. We were the first party to call for a guaranteed livable income. We, we're really on the cutting edge of a whole lot of really key policies that we need to continue to build a, a strong society, a healthy economy, and, and really strong communities. Well, people have been wondering when the green breakthrough was going to happen. And we've been looking to Ottawa yeah. for years to, for that to happen. But it seems like it's happening on the provincial level. That's, that's the Trojan horse that's going <laughs> to back you into Ottawa. Well, one of the things is, if I hadn't won my seat in 2011 in Saanich Gulf Islands, I don't know that Andrew Weaver, who's fantastic, who's the leader of the BC Green Party, yeah. could have won his within a year. So we kind of, we work together. We're separate parties. Sure. We're not, you know, we're the, so full credit to Andrew Weaver, full credit to Mike Schreiner for the Green Party of Ontario, Peter Bevan Baker, David Kuhn, strong people of great integrity who represent us so well and bring forward other key issues. Climate change is obviously central because we're in a climate emergency, but the policy work that's being done, I was just talking to some of the folks in the green room here, they've noticed that Peter Bevan Baker's platform in Prince Edward Island doesn't have any radical environmental policies, but has a lot of good stuff around health care, a lot of good things around how we move forward, how Prince Edward Island and Islanders can feel even prouder of the wonderful province in which they live. Uh, we uh, did a story and I had a conversation on your morning uh, a little while ago about the weakened state of the NDP federally and how that could present an opportunity for your party to go yeah. after those progressive voters. But you say that it's, it's, it's more general. There's a weakened opposition yeah. in Ottawa, and that's, that's your entry point. What, what do you mean by a general weakened state of the opposition? Well, I mean, we don't see, at, 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 in terms of Ottawa right now, I don't feel that Andrew Scheer is a strong leader for the Conservative Party. And then the Conservative Party is also split now because Maxime Bernier and the People's Party will be running a federal candidate in every riding across the country. Uh, Justin Trudeau's brand, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're st I, I stay friends with everybody, still friends with Andrew, still friends with Justin, but let's face it, and Jagmeet, but they're weakened. Yeah. And people are looking for ethics in government, they're looking for integrity, they're looking for a voice that stays clear and consistent, and Greens are that voice. And with more Green MPs in Ottawa, particularly knowing that we're going to be electing MPs from six parties in this election. I don't know what the seat count's going to be, yeah. but there will be six parties in the House of Commons. So very likely a minority parliament where cooperation really matters. And cooperation is in the green DNA. We, we like working across party lines because our job is to work for Canadians, not to keep pushing our brand, but to make sure government works better for the people. Uh, you've said that you would welcome Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott into the green fold. Um, they, they, they have gone on the record saying, though, that they, uh, they believe in the Liberal platform. They took issue with this one decision by the government. So how would you make the Green Party accessible to these two women? Well, it's up to, it's up to them, and I haven't had any chance to talk to them. It's not like we're in deep conversations mm. about this. But when asked a hypothetical, would you like Jody Wilson-Raybould to be a Green Party member of parliament? The answer, you know, really, the question answers itself before it's out my mouth, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, I've always been impressed with her. She's a woman of great integrity, intelligence, and being the first indigenous woman <laughs> the first Indigenous person to be Canada's Minister of Justice, I think it's tragic that that ended. I, even though I'm in the Green Party, I loved what Justin Trudeau did in having her be Minister mm. of Justice, and she has stood strongly 
to defend the rule of law in Canada. Jane Philpott became a friend after she was elected. I worked with her, I had a bill to bring in a Lyme disease strategy. I worked closely with Jane on that. So they're both women I admire enormously. And it's up to them. The one thing about the Greens that'll be different from any other party for any MP is that we do not have whipped votes. We do not ask, and this is true at the provincial level too, we don't ask people becoming part of the Green Party to check their brains at the door and just do what they're told. Uh, that's a, the squandering of talent in the other parties that insist that every MP, every MLA, just tow the party line or you're out. That's not us. Elizabeth, may we have to leave it there, but uh, with an election looming uh, this fall, we hope that you'll come back and talk to us again soon. I'd come every day if you ask me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. <laughs> thank, thank you, you for so being much. Here.